Hi, it's Rachel from Let's Get Crafty and in today's tutorial you're going to find out how to make this adorable little card and envelope using the wild card cartridge. Thanks so much for joining me and let's get started. In this tutorial I am going to be making a um, card from the wild card cartridge using my baby bug and I thought uh, today's tutorial would feature the Tweety card and envelope found on page 42. So let's head over to the Cricut and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so here we are um, looking at the baby bug right now. You can see that I have my cartridge, wild card cartridge in. I have the blade depth at 5 and I'll just zoom out here and my pressure at 5 and my speed at 5. I have gone and pressed the shift key and the letter Y which is now saying Tweety S on my screen and I'm ready to cut. Now to get the largest size envelope I start off with 5, it beeps, it's telling me it's not ready so I try again at 4.5 still too small, trying it at four, still too um, big, three and a half, still too big, try three, so three's the great, uh, the perfect size. Okay, the Cricut has completed the project, the envelope, so you can see here that it is a small little card size when you're using the baby bug and this one has this adorable adorable little bird there. So what you see in front of me right now is the envelope with the little bird at the tip, the card cut out on blackout feature um, and then I just cut this paper to um, match. So you can see if you followed my last tutorial, this is the paper from the uh, altered box project. And so the next step that I'm going to do is, uh, the reason why I chose this bird envelope um, is because I found this adorable little bird stamp last night at uh, Michael's in the dollar fifty section if you live in Canada and I'm just going to use my black stays on ink and I'm going to take this white piece of paper here and I'm just going to stamp that image I'm going to just while I'm at it do a few of these images find these ones a whole lot of fun to color. If you're looking for money saving tips for stamp, do it yourself stamp cleaner and um, cleansing pads, please check out my video tutorial for how to clean your stamps. Uh, so now that these are stamped, I think I'm going to go ahead and color them. So I'm going to go ahead and color these with my watercolor pencil crayons. I'm going to stick with the orange beak and I think I'm going to actually use a combination of yellow and orange. So when I'm coloring these stamps, there's lots of great tutorials from lots of other girls on online on how to use watercolor stamps to, to color your images. Um, the best thing is to start with the darker color on the outside and then you can blend it in to the center. I'll use orange for the, the feet. And then you take your watercolor brush. Um, I usually have a paper towel to do this, so I, just because of time here, I'm going to dab it on the table and as you can just see I'm just p 
blend, pulling the color into the center. Now it's important to use stays on ink so that the ink doesn't run. It's a uh, water soluble stays on ink and you can just see how much more vibrant the color c becomes once you run the water over top of it. It's nice and bright. Blend it in and uh, there's a cute little image I think just to give it some depth. It's just the leftover color that was on there from the legs I've put on to the wing. Doesn't that look cute? So now that it's all cut out I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Now I'm going to leave just a slight bit of uh, white edge going around on the um, paper just so that it is a little bit more easier here to cut out. This one is probably, if you took your time enough, is one that you could um, cut all around if you're really careful, but I'm just going to stick here with cutting around the edges. And there you go like that. Okay. These days, since I seem to be doing a lot of inking, I'm just going to ink along here. I'm using the Vic Black collection, the Van Dyke Brown, just to give it a more rustic sort of look here. So I've just gone ahead and pop dotted or put dimensionals onto the bird and I'm just going to place that on the center of the card and now we can go ahead and make the envelope. Again, what's so great about the wildcard cartridge is that there's score lines already built in for you so you can just go ahead and use your bone folder and ruler to um, finish that up. So I've just gone ahead and put my glue tape along the edge so I'll just take off the um, protectant, glue that down like so and glue that so out. It's all ready for the now the envelope feature does have a liner, but um, I find that the envelope gets thrown away and I'm just too cheap to to make the liner. So I've come up with this idea to use a um, circle punch. So I'm not sure what the size of this one is here, but it's the orange one and it looks like this. So I've just gone ahead and punched that. So what I'm going to do is just go around the little birdie and put some glue and actually the great thing about this is the fact that um, it kind of matches the pattern paper on the the card and I'm going to turn this into a little birthday card so I've taken a Studio G stamp and just put it on a clear block um, it says happy birthday um, what I like about these Studio G stamps is their perfect size for the cards and envelopes that you can make with the wild card cartridge and the baby bug. The ratio fits well. Um, this one looks quite cute because of the circular stamps to it. And we have our envelope here. Fits in just like that. You can close it up with a little bit of glue tape. Um, and there is our um, envelope. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today here on Let's Get Crafty.